Happy New Year everyone. I hope you guys all had an amazing Christmas holiday as well as a beautiful New Year's Eve. It's finally 2021 and I want to start the year off with a what I eat in a day video. Little backstory about myself. I am personally very interested into health, you know, nutrition and well-being and I became very cautious about what I put into my body around three years ago and over the last you know few years i read a lot of different books and i kind of developed my own little healthy lifestyle with you know my personal little dishes i like to eat on a daily basis to you know stay healthy fit energized and i think especially 2020 showed us how important it is to be healthy so this video is supposed to be a little inspiration of what you could do starting the year right with some beautiful, delicious, healthy dishes. By all means, I am very well aware that everyone is different when it comes to health and nutrition. People have different goals and that's totally fine. This video is not supposed to be telling you what to do, but again, just give you some inspiration starting the new year right. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to me either on Instagram or here on YouTube. And besides that, I'm excited. Let's, let's, get, let's get into the kitchen. All right, before the actual breakfast, let me just show you what I usually start my day with, which is a spa and wellness water. All you guys need for that is obviously some water. In my case, I use some sparkling water. I really like this. And I also like to put some ice into my glass. And then, you know, to make it a little bit more exciting, I like to add some lemon juice as well as some basil and mint. So, mix some spa water. And that's it, some spa and wellness water. I highly recommend you try this at home. Super delicious, you do it super quick. Doesn't have any sugar, doesn't have any alcohol. And um, yeah, it's just very refreshing and healthy. I drink this personally every morning when I wake up to start my day. You better try this at home as well. All right, so after I had my spa water, I usually start my breakfast. Generally speaking, I try to drink my green smoothie every day. And quick disclaimer before I start with the ingredients, this green smoothie is not supposed to taste the best and the most delicious. I put all this stuff into my green smoothie because it is very nutritious, healthy, and helps my gut, gives me all the vitamins and minerals, that's why I put all this stuff in here to simply break it down. If you try this at home, it probably won't taste the best and maybe it's even gross to you, but that is not my intention. Once you have the mindset that this is supposed to be giving you all the energy and all the stuff you need into your body first thing in the morning, then you're on the right path. All right, what do I do? I started with a handful of ice ice cubes. I add some normal water to it. I then add some coconut milk. I personally don't do dairy, no almond milk either. Coconut milk, that's what I add to it. Then I add some apple cider vinegar, a little bit of lemon juice, and essentially those are the juices and the milk, my base. Then I start adding my fruit, which is one whole avocado. I love avocado. It literally should be one avocado a day. It keeps the doctor away. I personally don't do any sugar. I try to keep it at a minimum. And 
None of my ingredients really have sugar, so that is really, really good. Next, I add some turmeric powder. I add cacao nibs, love cacao nibs. They give this green smoothie a very tasty flavor in combination with the mint. So essentially, it's a green smoothie with chocolate and mint taste. I personally add caramel powder. It is essentially just vitamin C. I do caramel powder instead of fruit like oranges because if I would add an orange, it would just be sugar. Next, flax seeds, omega-3, great prebiotics, super healthy for you and your digestive system. Flax seeds, I use that all the time. And macadamia nuts, very filling, gives this more texture and you know, healthy fats, some protein, very important. Last but not least, some spirulina powder. Can't emphasize enough how great this stuff is. I bought this whole thing like four months ago, lasts forever, amazing stuff. And then my last ingredient, baby spinach. And that's basically it. No fruit, no sugar, just, you know, whatever I need start my day and again either I have this right away in the morning or I have this after a workout or after intermittent testing. Let's do it. So this is my breakfast, this is my green smoothie. I know a lot of ingredients, but I can't emphasize it enough. I love this, I have this every morning. I feel amazing having this. Cheers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is lunch time. Today for lunch, I'm gonna make my famous salad. I love it, I eat it all the time. So, what am I using? Organic butter lettuce, baby arugula. I like to put nuts in my salad. I use walnuts. One avocado. I use some pomegranate seeds in season right now. That's why I use it. Generally speaking, when it comes to fruit, eat fruit which is in season right now. This is in season. During the summer, I would switch this up for some blueberries. Right now, this is amazing. I also have some red onion and some chicken breast. Really quick, when it comes to my diet, I just wanna mention that I try to eat one animal protein a day for one of my three dishes. So I have chicken for lunch, which means my dinner is going to be vegetarian. And then I also like to switch it up one day, some you know beef or some chicken. The other day some fish, back to beef chicken, fish, switch it up a little bit. Lastly, it is very important that your salad has a very healthy dressing. A lot of people have very good salads, but then they ruin it with dressings containing canola oil, sunflower oil. These oils are so damaging to your system and the crazy part is not a lot of people know about it. I use Primal Kitchen, I don't have any affiliation, but they use avocado oil and coconut aminos. And they're super delicious, very healthy. Zero grams of sugar to, again, we keep it sugar-free in my kitchen. When you cook, always use healthy oils. I use olive oil if I bake something or you know cook it on higher heat. I use avocado oil. Other than that, I use ghee or coconut oil. Don't use canola oil, sunflower oil, and all those bad oils. Very damaging. Last but not least, if you cook anything, make sure that you use pans and pots, which are non-toxic. Um, so I also like to keep my pans and pots toxic free. Those are the ingredients for my salad. Let's get into it.
salad I eat pretty pretty often. I think the two main things I want to convey are use healthy oils and healthy dressings when making your own salad and secondly make sure that you only use fruit which is in season and obviously you know fruit which is low in sugar. Other than that it's super quick to make you only gotta you know cook the chicken real quick. Highly recommend let me know what you guys think about the salad. Alright guys last dish of the day I'm gonna make some grain-free gnocchi. This is Capello's grain-free gnocchi. It's with almond flour. Together with some green pesto. Vegetables, mushrooms, and broccoli, as well as some baby arugula. Everything I make with extra virgin olive oil. And again, with a non-toxic pot. One thing I really want to emphasize on is if you're trying to eat healthy, try to cut out all those processed foods, junk foods, and generally just try to keep real foods in your fridge. Uh, or if you buy pesto or pasta, try to find brands and companies who produce these foods with the least amount of ingredients. For example, if we pan over to my fridge, all those sauces, ketchup, uh, coconut aminos, I try to use products with the least amount of sugar as well as least amount of ingredients. I want to give everyone a little homework after watching this video. Check out your kitchen, open the fridge or the storage and just check how many foods contain ingredients you cannot even pronounce? You will be surprised. All right, back to the dinner. I'm gonna make this pasta right now. And um, yeah. And that's my dinner, some pesto pasta. Again, really try to use real foods and if you buy products, try to buy products with the least amount of ingredients possible. Other than that, that's it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.